Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. Why do we use Azure Key Vault with Azure Data Factory? So first of all, we need to understand what is the Azure Key Vault. So Azure Key Vault is a service that helps us to store our secrets such as passwords, users, connection strings on the cloud. So now with the Azure Key Vault, when we save those values, maybe I have created a SQL account that has user and then password and I save that in Azure Key Vault and then I can use that in Azure Data Factory linked service. So if uh, my password change and all that, I don't have to make changes to my Azure Data Factory pipeline. I simply go and update the value in Azure Key Vault and my Azure Data Factory pipeline will be able to access uh, uh, that password. So one way, there would be no plain text uh, passwords in Azure Data Factory. Second, uh, we give uh, only very limited permissions uh, to the Azure Key Vault uh, uh, for the Azure Data Factory as well as for other people. So once you have all secrets saved there in Azure Key Vault, uh, you know, pretty much nobody will have access uh, uh, to see them. And uh, that really helps uh, to tighten up the security. Now, let me show you a little bit uh, here uh, how exactly that's uh, you're going to see where you will use that and how. Now, first of all, but, uh, uh, let's go to the... Uh, link services here and now if I will create the link service and uh, let me create the link service for Azure SQL database and here when I click uh, the database and uh, then it uh, asks me subscription and all that and you notice here it is asking me username I can provide the username here and then uh, it is asking me hey you want to write your password here or want to use Azure Key Vault. So that means I can save my password for this user in Key Vault and then use the Azure Key Vault. So from here, I will just make a linked service to the Key Vault and then it's gonna give me the list of the secrets on which Data Factory has permission and then I can choose one that will be for my Azure SQL user. Now let's go back and let's try this same thing with another type of link service. Now in this case, I'm gonna go with the Azure Blob Storage and here if I go to Blob Storage, click continue and you notice here a connection string either I can select my subscription and then I can select my storage account name and all that here or I can directly use Azure Key Vault I can save my uh, connection string in Azure Key Vault and then I use the Azure Key Vault the same method you will create the link service to the Azure Key Vault then use the secret from there and uh, this is really helpful because if you are deploying your uh, um, pipelines from my uh, from the dev to the UAT and prod and all that. Once you have key vault set up, you don't have to make any changes really. Once the link service is established, it will always use that. And you can keep the same name of secrets across your uh, uh, different environments. Uh, so they will be keep using the same uh, secret uh, from there. Or you can have different as well and always come back and change it here if you needed to. Now, this is the one way when uh, you can use Azure Key Vault. Uh, and uh, uh, there is another way if in case uh, you have saved some value in the Azure Key Vault and you want to use it, that's also possible inside the pipeline. Now, in that case, what you will go, let's say we have this pipeline here, and uh, then uh, this is my pipeline. I'm just gonna. So, what you will do here in the pipeline, uh, you will use the web activity, and in the web activity, uh, you are going to connect to your Azure Key Vault. So you know, I have a whole video, I will put uh, the link uh, here and uh, you can click and simply watch it. So you will provide uh, the uh, link uh, URL for the Key Vault here and then you're gonna use the method get there and then uh, you are also gonna provide a managed entity or you know, authentication method because uh, you are going to access uh, your Key Vault by using uh, your uh, uh, Azure Data Factory. So I have the complete video with all these steps. So once you get that, then uh, the output can be saved to the variable. So you will go to the set variable here and then uh, read the value of that secret from the Azure Key Vault by using web activity and save that into the variable. Once you save it, and uh, then you can keep using that variable wherever you need to use that further inside the pipeline. Um, so um, as I said that this uh, question can be just as simple as it is, why do you use Key Vault with Azure Data Factory? So you can explain to save the passwords and uh, 
um, see, uh, connection strings and all that in QVault and then using linked services and also if you have to extract that values uh, and use some other places in the pipeline you can use web activity with combination of uh, setting the variable value and then use that variable wherever you need to use that uh, I hope this video is helpful thank you very much I will put the, the both videos uh, how to uh, use the key vault and how to get the value from the key vault by using web activity and uh, you know uh, set the variable as well so you can take a look thank you very much and all the best with your interview